Right, this is Tom Salemi. I am at OIS at AAO in Las Vegas. and with Brent Saunders of Allergan, our keynote speaker. Thank you very much for taking the time today. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure. It was a great presentation. Uh, we always talk about whether farmers still contribute or what they contribute to sort of early stage into R&D. And you had some great data up there suggesting in 1998, two thirds of the new medical ideas basically came from pharma with uh, less than that, 16% or so, coming from smaller companies. That's completely flipped around in 2013. So what do you attribute that to? I mean, there's money going to both, but uh, but what, what does it say something about the cultures? Yeah, well look, I, I mean, big pharma is still a contributor to innovation, but what's so exciting is biotechs, venture-backed companies, academic spin-outs are a bigger creator to innovation. And I think it's got to go with the entrepreneurial mindset, right? There's something special that an entrepreneur brings to their ideas, right? It becomes a passion. And what's so wonderful to see, particularly in eye care, is so many entrepreneurs. We have a thousand people attending this summit. You know, several years ago when I attended, it was just about a hundred people. Mm -hmm. So the, the interest and the passion and the excitement that comes from these great ideas from innovators, I think is really going to create a new dynamic for innovation in eye care. How do you foster that? We spoke with Michael Ackerman earlier today of Oculive. He is now, a, I think, vice president of neurostimulation or something, so he's staying in the Allergan fold. How do you keep those kind of people in the company? Yeah, so when we go out and buy something like Oculive, we look at what made that company so special. How did they get that idea, that great idea, of using electrostimulation to create uh, 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 tears? And how do we make it even better and stronger? And so what we do is we feed it. We leave it alone and we try to feed it and make sure that someone like Michael feels valued and has all the resources they need, but not all the bureaucracy that they hate. And that's very different than what a lot of other companies do, which assimilate, right? We don't use the word assimilate. We use the word uh, support uh, when we buy a company. And that's really what we did with Michael. And we do it time and time again when we buy new technologies or bring innovators into the fold so we can keep them. And I love the story you told about how you came to know of Oculive. As, as someone who interviews, I always like to ask the final question, hey, what else, what am I not asking about? What's new? And you asked that question at Askers, and what was the story? We tell the story for our viewers. Yeah, so I was uh, doing what I normally do. I was at ASCRS, uh, at, like I'll be here at AO, and I'll do a bunch of one-on-ones with uh, key opinion leaders and physicians. And after meeting with a particular physician, I said, as he was getting ready to leave, what's new? What's exciting? And he said, oh, we just finished this trial. And it was really bizarre, because I was trying to get the device back, and the patients didn't want to give them to me. In fact, one patient cried. I was like, oh, that's interesting. I took the name down. And then a couple of meetings later, the same day, somebody said the same thing. Another investigator said the same thing. And so then I quickly called Andy Corley, said, tell me what's up with this company. He said, call Bill Link. And you know, six weeks later, we had a deal. And, and to be fair, Mimetogen was very similar. Jay Pepos uh, told me about it at a meeting. Uh, I contacted Mimetogen. I was at Bausch & Lomb at the time and did the deal there. And you know, now that they dropped out of it, we're back. <laughs> it really is a people industry, isn't it? It really is. And you get your best ideas from customers. Yeah. Um, and so it's really that listening and building relationships with customers, principal investigators, KOLs, the venture community, that causes you to source so many wonderful ideas. And you really strengthened, I think, those connections when you when you adopted the Gallagher name and sort of kept it in ophthalmology. I think a lot of people really appreciated that. Going forward, how does ophthalmology fit into Allergan's plans? Yeah, look, I mean, we were founded as an ophthalmology company, right? Allergan was an eye care company. That was its origin. And so we always want to respect our history. But look, it is so exciting to be in, in eye care because we're going into a golden age of innovation. Um, the business is doing great. The ecosystem is great. And unfortunately, there's still a lot of patients with unmet medical need. And so the combination of all those make it a really exciting time for eye care. And just final question, you, you mentioned you have been with OIS for a time, been attending these when it was smaller. What do you think about this event, how large it's gone? Is it still sort of retain all the elements that's made it so popular? Oh, absolutely. I think if, you know, if you're looking for one uh, thing that we have to watch is that it doesn't become intimate anymore and it's hard to network because one of the great things about this event was the relationships. And so, you know, we can do that through format, we could do it through other ways, but I think we have to keep... Uh, looking at, at building bridges and relationships as part of this meeting, and I'm sure the, the leaders will do that. And this is a, this still a, a good, uh, is this still a good uh, place for ophthalmology innovators to come and to, to hear the new ideas? Oh, I think it's the best. Um, I look forward to this meeting every year. Uh, you know, we're a big supporter of it, we believe in it, and uh, I've got a whole team of people here trying to network and listen to ideas and the presentation, so. Uh, I think it's the best meeting uh, for this type of meeting in any profession I'm, I'm involved in.
Uh, we really appreciate your support and your attendance. Great. Well, thanks for having me.